Hey, this is Tom Scarta, and I am a certified franchise executive. I help people find franchises. I'm also the author of The Magic of Choosing Uncertainty. This book I wrote because for the past uh, almost a decade now, I've been helping people find franchises. And what I've found is that most people, believe it or not, probably 90% of the people um, actually don't move ahead with buying a franchise for one main reason, and that's fear of the unknown. And I always tell my clients, you know, one of the most important things you could do is do the due diligence, find the right franchise, but your decision is not going to be what franchise you should buy. Your biggest decision is going to be the decision between uncertainty and unhappiness. Unfortunately, most people choose unhappiness. They go back to the job that they hate, they go back to the boss who's a jerk, they go back to the commute, they go back to missing the kids' soccer games and Little League games. And cho instead of choosing uncertainty, which is where the magic happens, it's hard to explain, it's not a science, and for analytical people, they get kind of tied up in this. Um, but I'll tell you, if you kind of take the leap the way I did, you'll find that magical things happen. People fall in your path, things come your way because the universe always favors the people who are bold. So the biggest thing that you need to realize is that you will have an anxiety attack as you go through this process. Everyone does. I guarantee you will. Just be prepared for it. You know, there's typically six times when anxiety will come up. One will be when, if you're working with somebody like me, the first time you'll have an anxiety attack is when I talk to you about companies you have probably never heard of before. I'm really good at finding low investment, high margin businesses, but typically they're not very sexy, you know, unless you spell sexy, M-O-N-E-Y, because they all do make a lot of money because they're needed services and not kind of flesh in a pan, you know, the latest fad type stuff. Another time that you might have some anxiety is when you have to start calling franchise owners in the field. That's part of the process. When you get, you know, two or three weeks in with doing your due diligence, after you learn all about the franchise and the day in the life, you're going to want to speak to the franchise owners in the field. That's where you're going to get the real dirt, you know, the real good, the bad, and the ugly about that company. So you want to definitely make that happen. Another time that I see people have anxiety, and I know I did when I was buying my first franchise, was when you get the franchise disclosure document. That document, a lot of times, is the size of a telephone book. So it's kind of overwhelming, but you need to know that it's really um, not the be-all and end-all of your decision. It's really your friend. It gives you a lot of information, makes the franchise very transparent, and will help you with your decision process, but it's only one piece of the process. So don't freak out when you get this franchise disclosure document. Another time people have some anxiety is uh, when... You get really kind of close to a franchise. Things are going really well. The franchise company will invite you out to their um, discovery day or meet the team day. And, you know, that starts getting scary. That's like going to meet the parents. It's like, wow, this is really getting serious now. So um, be prepared for that. You're going to have to get on a plane. You're going to have to go to the corporate headquarters. But it's great because you'll sit face to face with the uh, principals of the company, the founders even. And you'll look them in the eye and you'll ask them questions and you'll see how they react. And you'll see if you really want to get into business with these folks. Another time that uh, most people actually will fall out of the process is when it comes time to finance the franchise. You know, you start applying for loans, liquidating money. Now, all of a sudden, it's a reality. Once you start dealing with money, uh, things get real serious. So be prepared for some anxiety at that point. And in the 11th hour have anxiety everybody does you're sitting at your you're sitting at your kitchen table and you're writing a check for you know what could be a down payment for a house uh i for me i didn't know if i was gonna puke or faint I, it was the most horrendous thing um looking back it was the best thing i ever did but getting to that point that rite of passage of becoming a franchise owner was um book. It's available on Amazon. It's the magic of choosing uncertainty. It'll help you get over the decision of buying a business. 
But more than that, it can help you with any facet of your life, anywhere you have to make a decision, big or small, uh, jobs, relationships, uh, moving out of state, whatever it might be. So again, I'm Tom Scarta. My email, if you want to talk with me, is tom at tomscarta.com. And I'd love to answer any of your questions. Thanks.